Hey everyone, this is CVGS and today it's me, Brandon, bringing to you SD55, Ten Say No Home or Book of Origins. Now before I go on with the tech review here, I would like to tell everyone to stay home and stay safe due to the current COVID-19 situation. Please take care of yourselves while us CVGS, we will try our best to give you more content through these trying times. Now moving on with the SD, now we have Chronobirth Dragoon on the front here together with the new uh, Wanderer Grandwalker Lolo and also the uh, Diamond Wall with Bashindan Saga Brief Art. Also, uh, don't forget that this set has the BS Club Points inside which you can redeem at official events. Now let's take a look at what this uh, SD has to offer. Now, it, the deck contains 16 card types with one extra. It is uh, one type of X-Ray, Tensei X-Ray, one type of Master Rare, one type of Rare, two types of Tensei Rares, 10 different commons and one set of Tensei checklist cards. Now, looking at the back, we have a short introduction about Tensei. Now, let's, let us open the deck and see what is inside. So as you can see, we have our Chrono Birth Dragon in the front, our playmat, the usual 30 cores and one soul core to get started, and also at the back, we have your Bashindan Diamond Walls. Now, we shall move, I shall explain the rest of the cards in a bit, so I'll see you soon. And we're back. So, since this is the new starter deck for the new Mechanic Tensei, we will feature the new Grand Walker, the Tensei Spirit, and the Tensei Nexuses. As you can see from the back of the box just now, the Tensei cards are double-sided, which means that they cannot be played inside your main deck itself. So, to solve that problem, they made Tensei checklist cards used to represent the cards themselves. When the card, when the Tensei checklist card is being summoned or deployed, you can replace the checklist card with the actual card itself from outside the game. And when the card leaves the field, you put the check, uh, check, checklist card back into your hand or deck or trash as per normal. So, for more information and translation, please check out World of Cards link in the description below. So we shall move on to featuring the Grand Walker of this SD, which is the Grand Wanderer Grand Walker Lolo. Family Grand Walker Originator Wanderer. His effect is that he call charges for Jester, Origin cost 3 and higher, Rebirth Spirits, and Rebirth Nexuses. So, his Grand Field during your main step, level 1 and 2, when summoning a spirit with Origin in its family, you can have this Nexus spirit, uh, symbol treat as red, yellow, green, purple, blue, or white. His Grand Skill 3 is main step once per turn. You can draw a card, or if your count is 2 or less, you can flip one of your Tensei Nexuses. So what is the count area, you ask? It is the new area uh, made for the Tensei Nexuses and Tensei Spirits. When the Tensei card flips, you add one core from Void to the count area which unlocks better effects or serves as a limiting purpose. More or more detailed explanation in the upcoming How to Tensei video. So now, moving on to our key spirit here, which is the Chrono, the Space Time Dragon Chrono Dragon. He is, he is a rainbow spirit uh, with an effect that his reduction symbols can be treated as uh, uh, red, yellow, green, blue, purple, or white. His level 1, to one 2, and 3 effect is on attack. You can draw a card from your deck in addition Opponent burst effects cannot be activated. Ooh, that's quite the burst hit on the SD card, isn't it? On level 2 and 3, Chrono, Chrono Dragon has a rebirth skill. When your opponent's life is decreased, or when this spirit leaves the field, you can send the soul call from anywhere to this spirit, other than from Void of course, then you can flip this card, which exposes the space-time dragon Chrono Burst uh, Space Time Dragon Emperor Chrono Burst Dragoon. So it's uh it's also a it's a tensei it's a tensei spirit card of course. Uh when this uh when this spirit tensei uh rebirths, you can destroy one Grand Walker without the family origin in its name uh, in its family. In addition, this spirit refreshes. On level two and three, when this spirit attacks, the opponent's burst effects cannot activate. And if your count is 3 or more, you can send 2 lives to the opponent's reserve. Wow, that's a really really strong effect on the 
tea spirit now, isn't it, from NST? Now, moving on to the next card, we have the Bookshelf Valley of a Hundred Consciousness. It is a next uh, uh, origin family nexus that has a rebirth ability when your account is 3 or less. When your red spirit from your family origin attacks, you may flip this nexus. If you do, you may send one call from your field or reserve to this post rebirth spirit. The post rebirth spirit name is the Master of 100 Consciousness, consciousness Wisdom Burr. So it's a origin and ancient dragon card with an effect when he when or on on rebirth you can draw a card from the deck. And also during every start of your draw step you can draw one extra card. On his level 2 effect, uh he is he cannot attack and he is unaffected by opposing effects. Now moving on to the last Tensei Nexus, it is a new world, which is also another origin nexus that has rebirth. When your, uh, when your opponent's life is decreased or when this nexus would leave the field by your opponent you may send your soul core to this nexus and flip it. During your main step uh, when summoning a spirit card from the family origin you can treat this nexus symbol as red, green, yellow, green, purple, blue or white. And on level 2 when your spirit is from the family origin of original cost 4, 5 or 6 attacks your opponent cannot activate burst effects. Well, that's a lot of burst hate in this deck now, isn't it? <laughs> very, very disgusting. Now, on to the B side, when it flips, it will show the Graceful Dragon, Elsa Lagoon. On rebirth, Elsa Lagoon can add two core from the Void to your spirits, so you can redistribute core. Really, really strong effect. Also, when your post-rebirth spirit attacks, your opponent cannot activate burst effects. Wow, from an SD that is featuring a new mechanic, that's a lot, a lot, a lot of good stuff to take in. And that is it. If you like what you see, you can fo uh, subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to, for our notifications when new videos come out. You can also follow us on our socials like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and also you can follow the you can join the server on Discord where I will be there with the rest of the gang on most nights. You can chit chat about card games, and if you need advice on deck building, I can be there to help you as well. So, I hope you enjoyed this deck review and we hope to see you again in the next video. Ciao!